<laughs> All right, which ties in to this next act. Uh, this man feels like eating out tonight. If you're lucky, you may even get to join him. Ladies, <laughs> please welcome the one and only Evan Calhoun. He's very funny, Evan Calhoun. Let's go. Calhoun, any people who don't know me, if you do know me, hey. hey. I do gotta admit I am a lesbian. Yeah. So, I've been taking college classes lately and uh, met this Chinese chick. Her name's Su Heng or something like that. She loves dogs too, but she refers to them as A12 on the menu. <laughs> <laughs> So this is a... You bet that, huh? That's pretty good. So this is the Tom, Tom Snyder Second Annual Stand-Up Comedy Showcase. I know that's a little long, so the acronym is uh, T-T-S-2-A-S-U-C-S-C. That makes it a little easier for you. Now, if you haven't noticed, I do got a little southern twang in my voice. I am from L.A. <laughs> Lower Alabama. Pensacola. <laughs> Pensacola, yeah. Dustin, Florida, Fort Walton Beach, Panama City Beach. Let's go party, buddy. And Kelly, I gotta love you because I have a 55 inch LED 3D television. God, and you know what the best thing about 3D television is? 3D porn. <laughs> in the morning watching, I'm like, yeah, woo, baby, well, what's up, buddy? Uh, uh, yeah. As you notice, I'm not into skinny girls. Get yourself a big girl. Let me tell you why. Skinny girls, all they want to do is eat salad. You take a big girl to McDonald's and you supersize her number three, you're getting laid. <laughs> You're a fucking team. You know, don't knock me for being the big girls. I lost 200 pounds. Gastric bypass. But I can't tell you this. God hates fat people. Oh, that's Bible Belt people here? What the fuck? <laughs> Let me explain myself first. When you're a big guy, you get big, fat, huge arms, you get big, fat, huge legs, your big belly, big neck. Everything in your body gets huge, except for your cock. <laughs> Could you imagine if your cock got big? Every guy in this world would be huge. I'm freaking serious, man. My, my dick has a beer belly. <laughs> I mean, there wouldn't be infomercials at 3 o'clock in the morning selling fitness equipment. This shit would be on prime time, how to fatten your cock. And it would be the best selling shit on earth. Fuck 90210. Anybody ever remember being spanked by your mom? My mom was the worst. My mom, Tom. Your mom. You might want these back. I know your mom's proud of you for riding a bicycle. I drive a fucking car. I turned 16, I got a license. But my mom, when she spanked you, you knew you got spanked. It didn't matter how, what you did, my mom would pick up anything that could spank your ass and spank your ass. You would have hauled ass across the yard to get away from your mom? No way in hell. My mom was like Brett Favre. She's like, oh, no, you didn't. Perfect spiral on the shoe. Knocking your ass out. All right, let's get back to real life. In my real life, I'm a cop. True story, active cop right here in Monroe. And I'll tell you, 
There's irony in being a cop. I go to this guy's house. He's currently in prison at the time he was. It's for another domestic situation. And I'm looking at the wall, and there's pictures, you know, like third grade photos, fourth grade, fifth grade. Gets all the way to about tenth grade, and I start noticing mugshot photographs. <laughs> Mom has actually put these in picture frames. First misdemeanor, second misdemeanor, third misdemeanor, felony, 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 prison inmate photo. I swear to God. <laughs> Proud mom. And there's irony being a cop. A car passes me at 80 miles an hour, and I get to turn around and chase him at 100 miles per hour. And I get to give that motherfucker a speeding ticket. <laughs> I had a guy tell me once, he was like, man, I'd be hard to take into custody because I've got a black belt in karate. I'm like, dude, i got a black belt in law enforcement. You don't do what the hell I get to do, tell you to do. I get to pull out some pepper spray and spray your ass. And if that don't work, I get to pull out my taser. And I get to shock your ass with five seconds of electric purifying fear fun. What's even better is I get to call my friends to come over here and watch get front row seats and believe me, they haul ass. Alright folks, thank you for supporting